G'day guys, we're just back here with Callum Kursop, now 100 metre runner, back on the track. Now, I just wanted to explain quickly to you about some of the restrictions that we saw with Cal, but what we see with a lot of these runners, especially to do with the hip. So this one's going to be all about the agonist and antagonist relationship of our glute medius and our adductor magnus. So what we tend to see straight away with runners that have an inlet imbalance in this area or an inhibition straight away will be as they go into hip flexion and go into flexion for us so you notice as cal comes up what you'll see is that he'll track across medially okay so he's probably over exaggerating it a bit there but that's fine but the problem is that that glute med is not able to stabilize that hip there so therefore that adductor magnus tends to upregulate and draws the knee across the medial plane which is not ideal because straight away that brings in restrictions around the hip and because our glute med is our hip stabiliser so as we lift our leg up it obviously needs to contract to stabilise our hips if that's compromised especially from a power and strength athlete like Cal that's not going to be a great effective technique the second restriction we tend to see which we're seeing with Cal um, when we got down on the track was his hip extension restriction as well and that's the second part of the hip restriction, and especially with the technique that I do. So, okay, we'll get this round to the side here. So, if he goes, just bring your knee into a little bit of flexion, and then we're going to go back into hip extension. So, straight away, what we're seeing, come back, is if there's restriction here at this lower portion of the psoas, then this will inhibit his glute max. So, he's obviously functioning ability to push through into that drive of hip extension. So straight away, restriction, even if it's unilateral, God forbid bilateral, is going to play a big role in terms of not having the power to push through that, especially from the power point of view. So normally what we'll see is iliopsoas coming down here and attaching onto that lesser trochanter just above that area is that's where we tend to see that super trigger point for the iliopsoas. So it's an inhibitor for sure. And what it's inhibiting is our glute max. So straight away, if we reach the end of our hip extension and we have no more, then there's a tendency to anteriorly pelvic tilt through the pelvis as well. And that's not ideal because then that brings in extra load and dynamics of the lower back. All right, guys, hope that makes it a little bit clear to you what you're looking for sometimes with your runners, especially in terms of relationships to either agonist or antagonists. Look out for those holding patterns.